together this Eric Chopper rotor assembly as a prototype for a high pressure air siren. So you start small and see what works and what doesn't work. And what did work was this rotor with more dead time. And that lets the uh, horn resonator work better. I made this one here, there's just not enough dead time and there's like uh, an air overlap that didn't let the resonator work properly. So the perforated bottom is the air inlet, so the air comes in here from the outside and it goes out one outlet through a uh, gap. which is on this assembly. So that rotor slips inside of this can. There's our air inlet. And we'll hook that up to a fast motor. And we'll, we can vary the speed on it and see how it works. Here is a quick look at the air chopper outlet. So here is our siren experiment, ready to roll. Initially I'm going to run it indoors because I don't want to make too much of a disturbance with the neighbors. And we'll play with the air pressure and frequency. And I have a horn on it and that is six and a half feet long. So here is our air supply. And there is a uh, small single stage compressor set up for this. Here goes our first test. Air pressure is 35 psi. I made up a aluminum horn. It's four feet long and we'll give it a test run. See how well it does. Here goes the test with 40 pounds of air. 